welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java based cloud project which is entitled as attribute based cloud data integrity auditing for secure outsourced storage so the main objective of the paper is checking out the integrity by making a auditing of the files that is stored in the cloud server and also providing the security to the files which is in the cloud so this is the architecture mentioned in the paper which has the entities user kgc tpa cloud server now let us see the execution of the project we have implemented this project in Java with the NetBeans ID 8.2 and MySQL and also for storing the data in the cloud we will be using Drive HQ. So we are not going to host the complete project in the cloud server we are going to store the data in the cloud server where we will be using Drive HQ API for it. Now let us run the project so this is the home page of the project which has the project title with the architecture image and the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper here you can see the entities user kgc tpa cloud server here only user has the new registration and he can log in with different entity different roles here KGC, TP and Cloud Server will be having their single authentications. So let us see the user path. Now I will click new user registration. Now you can see the details that I have entered in the user registration with the name, email id, phone number, date of birth, gender, city, country, password and click sign up. So now the user is registered successfully and click ok. Now we will log in into the user login by entering the username and the password click ok now you can see the message that authentication is failed ok so because KGC need to give an approval so let us go to this KGC now and click this is the welcome screen of the KGC here you can see the name the email id and the status here you can see the status is waiting because this is the user that I have registered now so once if the KGC is give, given the authentication then only the user can log in so let us see the part now now click approve now if you go to the users you can see that the user has been now approved okay now log out go to the user login now enter the credential and click login and now you can see the message that OTP verification enter your OTP now you need to check your email which 
you have entered in the registration time you can see this I have received a OTP so just use this OTP and login into it so now you can see the message this login is successful and this is the home screen of the user so here you can see the option of file upload and here you can see the information of attributes that is file name file size and file type as we are using attribute based cryptography and these parts should be entered so first I will show you a file I'll create a file now testing cloud sample let us have this as a So let me save this file testing cloud sample. Now I will upload that file that is in the D. So testing cloud sample. Okay. Now I'll enter the file name cloud file size file type and click upload. Now the upload process is in progress. So now you can see the file is uploaded successfully. You can go to my files and check the file is uploaded successfully. Let us check in the cloud also. So refresh it. Now you can see testing cloud sample. This is the file name. You can see the date and time 28.1.2021 time 4.55 same time. So just click it and you can see the data is encrypted inside because if it is known to uh, the, the ciphertext is known then it is not a secured one. So when we are storing it will be encrypted. So the file is uploaded in the cloud. Now you can log out. Let us go to the now. Now let us check the other parts that is TPA. Just log in into the TPA. Now here you can see the TPA home page and audit request. You can see there is no files request cloud there is no files because we are not given any kind of auditing request now so now log out let us go to the cloud one here this is the home page of the cloud you can see send proof is not available because we have not given any kind of request now let us make a, a request the auditing request So every time the user has to enter the OTP which is received in the email. Now uh, go to audit request. So this is the file that we have uploaded. Now make an audit request by clicking audit request. Click audit request. Okay. The, the request has been sent. Now log out and go to the TPA as per the architecture the TPA receives the audit request and also sends the audit result and it is uh, send the audit challenge and audit response through the cloud so now go to the TPA the TPA you can see now 
the request has been received earlier i have shown this table was empty here you can see now the request has been received now click send to cloud okay now you, you can see what is the what are the things that have requested to the cloud it is being displayed here and now log out and go to the cloud server cloud now here you can see send proof so here send auditing proof click send auditing proof and log out now go to the user login now enter the OTP and submit now go to the proof check here you can see the proof check that we have requested click verify now you can see the verification process so how it is the auditing is done so the file name the hash code the hash code the hash code that we have uploaded the hash code in the cloud and click verify so the hash code value matches so the file is safe and unchanged okay so this is one scenario that is the user has requested for the audit of the file and the file is not changed so it has been reported to the user that the file is safe okay now let us see the second scenario that if in case the file is being changed so go to my files so click action here you can see the encrypted content here in, in case example any intruder or hacker or someone enters any data now we have update updated the file so now now we will make a audit request so now click audit request and log out now go to tpa in the audit request you can see the audit has audit request now click send to cloud and log out now go to the cloud and log in log into the cloud and send proof and click send auditing proof and log out now go to the user part again enter the OTP now go to proof of check and click verify now click verify here you can see incorrect hash values the file is updated by the user or someone okay so here you, the user can get the result that the auditing of the auditing of the file that the file is being changed okay click OK and click back so in this way the auditing process is done so the next process is like uh, requesting a file from other user so let us make a other user registration example say I'll name it as Naresh and I will give a email ID as except gmail.com now I have registered for the other user and the registration is done successful now KGC should approve that so so go to KGC login now go to key request and you can see the Naresh is being waiting so click approve and log out now go to the user part and enter the email ID the password of the user Naresh and click login and now you will enter the verification code I have given the other email id jp infotech projects let us go there 
here you can see the OTP is received here I enter the OTP and give submit now if you go to my file the files will not be available because I have not uploaded any file for this user narration now go to cloud files here you can see the file uploaded by the user JP okay that was testing cloud sample now make a request to the file so and click this request file key okay now log out now go to the user the first user JP login into that enter the OTP now go to file request <coughs> here you can see the user ID narration now currently we have requested for the file so now we will send this key file key to authorize the user to use this file and send to click send file key so the, the file key is now sent now log out and go to the <coughs> second user <coughs> sorry <coughs> and click login now enter the OTP now go to file request Oh, click download to download cloud files you can click download now it will be asking for the file key now enter the file key which we received here and click download now you can see the file key has been validated and it has been downloaded go to this download now you can see the data that we have entered which we have uploaded in the cloud now log out come to the cloud server here you can see the performance analysis so this is a static graph which has the attributes and the time So our proposed system takes lesser time when compared to the existing system. So in this way, this project attribute based cloud data integrity auditing for secure outsourced storage has been implemented and thank you.